Hello there, Capricorn. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus Capricorn for the week of November 29th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, Capricorn, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings. I would really take a look at your moon and your Venus sign. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. Your moon sign is emotions. Your Venus sign is how you show up in relationships. My moon happens to be in uh, Sagittarius, but my Venus sign is in Capricorn. That's an interesting twist. Yes. All right. So if you're a cross watcher, keep in mind that the energies here might be reversed for you or topsy turvy or backward and forth and just kind of assign this how it makes sense to you. If you would like a reading of your own, you can find all of that information down below in the description box. I do $20 readings that are pretty like fast one question. I do $50 readings that are a lot like the ones I do here on YouTube where we do a deep dive into one situation, one person, one question. I also do $75 readings. If you really want to get to the bottom of a situation, 10 questions, we're going to go deep there and, and figure out what's going on. And if you would like a reading for your birthday, uh, where we cover all the aspects of your life, like money and career and health and well-being, um, I do those for 50 as well. You can find that information, as you guessed, down below in the description box. All right. So we're looking at the overall energy here, Capricorn. We're going to check out your person. We're going to check out you. I'm going to pull some clarifier cards in the next two sections. Uh, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my readings. And from what I can tell, you've had a very intense relationship with someone. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. For some of you, this could be a soulmate, someone that you wanted to be a soulmate, a committed relationship, very intense relationship. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And I doubt you're in communication with this person. If you are, I think it's very stilted. It feels very awkward right now. We have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. I do think this person's keeping an eye on you. Page of Swords is here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You could be dealing with an air sign or you have air in your chart or they do. Um, there's really a sense here of curiosity with that card, keeping an eye on you, maybe watching you on social media, just thinking about you driving past your house. We have the moon, cancer and Pisces energy. So I doubt you're aware of this. The moon is things that are hidden, things that we don't see. Um, this may resonate in more than one way in this reading. This person may have some fears and anxieties about approaching you or fear and anxiety about um, relationships in general. Maybe there was some sort of a secret here as well. We have the 10 of cups in reverse. This could have been a marriage that ended or an engagement, or you have children with this person. 10 of cups is a happily ever after card. It's a card about a wish fulfillment, getting everything that you wanted in the reverse. It's losing everything that you had uh, with this person, or it's a sense that uh, you had the possibility of this and then it didn't turn out into what you were hoping for. That Ten of Cups is like, you know, it's the last you know few lines of a fairy tale and they lived happily ever after. You had that sense that this relationship could go that way, but that's not how it ended. All right, we have... For your Lenormand, the clouds, things that you can't see, clouded judgment, uh, secrets, things that are hidden, and the fox, which is being clever. It's having an agenda. It's similar to the Seven of Swords, but I don't think it's it's legit like lying or something like that. It's a more, more of being smart or being clever kind of a vibe to it rather than being like sneaky and shady. All right, let's check out your person. Okay, Capricorn, we have something interesting here. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is technically your energy, 
But I think it could also be um, the way this person is showing up here. It can mean an aspect of personality. Knight of Pentacles is very careful. Uh, crossing the T's, dotting the I's. At its core, it's a very Virgo card. Um, it's being very organized. They have a plan here. We have the Strength card, Leo energy. That's holding on to your animal instincts. It's being brave. It's not allowing yourself to do what you maybe instinctually want to do, which I think would be to approach you and to like iron this out with you. Um, they're being very careful here. I think that's why they're watching instead of approaching you. We've got the four of wands, which is a desire for a homecoming. This can also mean stability in a relationship or taking your relationship to the next level, coming home to someone. Um, if you've lived with this person, they want to come home or they feel as if you are their home. Two of cups, that's someone who has a very strong connection to you. That is a partnership card. Um, it's a feeling like your other half. You have their back. They have yours. You know this person inside and out. Five of Cups is regrets about the past. Thinking about oh, what you've lost. Thinking about what you should have done. It's like shoulda, woulda, coulda with that card. Um, if only I had done this. If only you know they had said that. King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Lots of Leo here with the Strength card. That is someone taking action towards you. If you aren't dealing with a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart or fire in yours, this is someone who's going to do something about it. They're just getting ready. I feel like they're in the planning stages now. Um, this person has coming up with a plan and you don't know it. They, I think they're, they're keeping an eye on you and deciding how to approach you. So let's pull some cards here and get some clarity, see what's going on. I did shuffle beforehand, but I'll do a couple more just to kind of get the energy flowing. So what is this person up to? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, they want to let their defenses down here. Oops. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands in the upright is someone being real defensive, uh, not admitting when they're wrong. It can also mean someone who kept you at arm's length. Oh, we have a volunteer here. Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this relationship with you. They want to rebuild here. Pentacles are all about our time and our effort and our energy. Um, this person is planning a reconciliation. They want to work on this relationship. Maybe they realize that they were the problem here with that Seven of Wands, that they were kind of holding things back, keeping you at a distance, being super defensive. Oh, oh. And we have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. It's the divine masculine, the father, the husband. It's someone who's bringing order to chaos, putting things in perspective, getting things back on track here. Someone who wants to take control of the situation. Yeah. Oops. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. They want to make you an offer. They want to give you their time, their energy, their effort. This person is really wanting to invest in this relationship. They haven't given up on it at all. All right, let's check you out. Okay, Capricorn. I think you are viewing this relationship as a missed opportunity with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Pentacles is really a sense of planting seeds for the future. It's something very valuable. It's slow and steady progress in a relationship, building something with someone. Page of Wands, trying to take a path forward. This is Leo Sag, Aries energy, so you could be dealing with a fire sign or you have fire in your chart. But really, that's about trying to find a way forward. 
Maybe you cut this person off. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, lots of air here in this reading. Some of you have air in your chart or are dealing with an air sign, but Queen of Swords is cutting something off, cutting something out, demanding the truth, uh, creating some barriers between you and this person. And this person is basically coming back through those barriers. The Ace of Cups here is wanting a new cycle. It's someone being in love with you, telling you they're in love with you. Three of Pentacles card right there is conversation, collaboration, cooperation. I think you're going to hear from this person. You're going to get lots of messages, maybe a barrage of them with the Eight of Wands. That's someone blowing up your phone, showing up on your doorstep, uh, filling your DMs. It's someone really putting in a lot of effort here. I think they're just trying to figure out what's the best way to approach you because they're wanting you back. All right, let's pull a couple of clarifiers here and see what's up. All hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, remember when we had the Empress earlier or the Emperor? We have the Empress now. There's the divine masculine and the divine feminine here in this reading. For a lot of you, this is a soulmate or a twin flame. This is a very intense relationship. The Empress is also about nurturing a connection. <laughs> it's about, um, hold on. It's about taking your relationship forward, further on, uh, giving it your time and attention. She's the divine feminine, the wife, the mother. This person may want to... Take this relationship to the next level. If you got a divorce, they may want to marry you again, or they may want to get married if you are engaged. We have the full Aries energy starting over again, taking a risk, taking a leap. It's the start of a new cycle. Yeah, that's what's coming. I think that you have some messages coming in from this person. All right, let me know down below if it resonated. If it didn't, go ahead and check out your moon and Venus sign. If you want to order a reading, you can find all that info down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my readings. And blessed be.